everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to come on today to share with you um, two projects. Well, I have made more, but I'm only going to share these two. Um, projects that I have made for Laura, who is Mrs. Stationery and Stuff here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below in the description box. Um, you will all know Laura and love Laura. She's amazing. Um, yeah, she's my Welsh bestie and um i have i well with laura um i have made i have not made her half as many things um this year it's quite a lot of things that are bought so she's probably gonna kill me but um yeah so i just wanted to share with you some of the things that i've made i have made another box but like you have seen it previously so it's pointless me showing you that i've just dressed it up a little bit it's one of my tall gift boxes that i made um in my uh day in the challenge of the three box challenge um so yeah so i just dressed that up and um put some bits in there for her Anyway, um, so yeah, so I've made two two things that I wanted to show you. One is quite a large project, so I'm going to show you the, the small, well, the smaller one. But it's not the smaller one, it's the bigger one, but it's the less time to talk about. Um, so I've just made another one of these crackers here. Um, you will have already seen, because this will probably go out, obviously, later, once as soon as Laura's got, the, um, got these. Um, I have made one for Steph during our advent swap. Um, so yeah, so this is another, um, cracker, it's exactly the same, it's just, it's in pink paper, uh, cardstock, and it's using the Winter Wonderland Doodlebug collection, okay, so I've gone for the ones with the flowers and the snowflakes, and I don't know if you can see that, but it, like, sort of glitters, the paper is glittered, it's like my favourite paper from the collection, um, actually, all of it is my favourite, because I, I can't say I've got a massive favourite in this collection, I just love it all, because it is one of my all-time favourites, anyway, so, on the front here, I just dressed it up, I put a house in the little middle there, and I put the two snow girls, snow man, snow boy, snow girl, or whatever, I've stickled up the heart, uh, the hearts, the hats, and the bobble bits, because I love my stickles, and then I put friends in the middle there. That's just a sticker that I've put on top of cardstock and just laid, uh, laid down. I've tied it up with um, some silver ribbon that I had in my stash. I think this is Stampin' Up! ribbon. And again, inside, I'm not going to undo anything, is another of those boxes. And then inside that, then, I've just put some, um, like, bath bombs and things like that in. Um, so it's just a nice, really nice way of gifting something. Um... So yeah, so this is um, one of the projects. So I just wanted to quickly share that with you and it's decorated all the way around. It is a really large cracker. Um, it's made using one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous cracker. But anyway, the main um, project I wanted to share with you. Now, Laura is stubborn as, we all know this, okay? Um, so for a long, long time, I've been saying to her, Laura, what do you want for Christmas? Amy, I don't want anything, I don't want nothing, spend it on your family, blah, 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 blah. She gives me this every time, right? So I was like, right, Laura, it'd be less stressful for me if you could actually tell me what you wanted for Christmas. Um, so when I said it that way, which is an awesome way of putting it, she was like, oh, right, okay, she must have thought I was getting really stressed. So which I was because I didn't know I didn't have a clue what to do it so she said um can you make me an explosion box um it's Smithy's 40th birthday next year and they were going um actually I better not say that because I don't know even know whether he knows okay I won't say that but anyway it's Smithy's birthday next year and she wanted something to make uh, she wanted me to make an explosion box so she could put photos in it anyway Okay, that's fine. Cool, yeah. I love making explosion boxes. I can do that. No problem. Thank you for telling me, Laura. That, you know, it was awesome of it, okay? Um, anyway, in the meantime, she's been going on about saying that she wants an explosion box board. And I'm like, oh, my God, she's going to get one. And she's going to make herself one. And I'm going to have to kill her. Um, but, no, she's she's getting one. But she hasn't got it yet. So, I'm hoping this is going to get to it before she gets it. Um, and she can see this version first. Now... I didn't want to decorate it in Christmas papers because it wasn't obviously a Christmas theme. So I said to her, is there any particular paper? And she said, 
um use any papers that you've got so i was like oh great now see this is the worst decision for me um is choosing papers for something i really 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 struggle with it and i was like do you want me to make it boy do you want me to make it girl and she said well it'll probably be for me more so um so i was like right okay so i'll make it like a girl version um not but i haven't got many boy do you know what i mean there's not very many boy papers i've got anyway so um she didn't say a particular theme or anything um but i think i was talking to steph and i went and i said do you know what i've got like a load of disney papers why don't i make like a disney one so this is what i've got further ado five minutes in you might get to see something this is what i've come up with okay now, you'll have to bear with me. Um, it's taken me oh, about three or four days to make this. This is complete now, though. Um, so I just wanted to share with you before I wrap it up, get a box sent, and it's off. Um, I have used... So this is an explosion box, sorry. Um, using my explosion box board, which I love. <laughs> uh, which the Fantastic Jude got for me. Uh, Fantastic Jude, that sounds like it should be a movie, doesn't it? Um, anyway, so... Um, yeah, the first, oh, right, I will just, yeah, I'm just going to say, right, this, um, die cut here is from a lovely lady on Etsy, I can't remember what her store is called, oh, I can't remember, no, I know her name is Michelle, but I don't know what her store is called, I'll have to figure it, if I can find it, I'll link it down below, anyway, when I was making Steph's advent bag, um, I made her a huge backpack bag, and I wanted a, a picture of Minnie to go on the front um she designed me one and sent me three um copies of Minnie's face okay um so I was going to send them to Steph in the, her bag but I thought no hang on I'll keep them because I can use them for Laura um so I kept one and I popped that on the top I've popped it up on dots now, I wasn't sure whether I needed some sort of word in on you, but I checked with Steph and I said, does this need anything else? And she said, no, it looks fine as it is. So I was like, right, okay, I'm not going to destroy it any further. I was maybe going to put her initials down there below, but I thought, well, if it's not just her photos, maybe if somebody else's photos, um, I didn't want to just initial it to Laura. And do you know what I mean? So I just, I left it as it is. So she can do with it then as she pleases. Okay, so the first... Um, the cover, the main box is using Fun at the Park Doodlebug collection. Um, I ought, I wanted to make the bag that I made Steph in those papers, um, but I didn't want the whole collection because I didn't need the whole collection. A lot of it is related to Disneyland, and I have never been to Disneyland. Um, I'm probably not going to go to Disneyland anytime soon because it's cost a fortune. Um, but I liked some of the patterns in there. Um, for like Disney, it is some of them are lovely. Some of them are about the rides and things that are there and hot dogs and stuff like that, which I don't want. Um, but then others were more specific. So I used that for the outer box. So this is the main box. So it's really sturdy. I can't remember. I think it's four by four by four. Um it's quite heavy. And so I used the polka dots um for the outside, so it's like mini. Then I put, broke it up. I was going to use polka dots on here, but I thought it may be too many. So I broke it up then with these stars in like the Mickey Mouse mini colours things, sort of thing. And then I put mini on the top, okay? So, you open this up. Now, it's probably not going to open up properly because it's all come back together. But this one, so it's an explosion box, okay? So you open this up. I'll put the lid there. No, I won't because I'm going to need to open it up. But this should explode out. But obviously, because there's hearts on it, it doesn't quite. Right, so anyway, so this one is like a heart shape. And on the, the other side of that heart, i got the plaid. Okay? So we've got another layer here of, like, the whole Mickey Mini. So I've used the stripes for the hearts. I've used this star paper for the photo mats. And then I've put, I had the 6x6 six six, uh, paper pad in this. So I've used some of the cutouts of that. I've just glued them up the top so she can put a photo in there. And I've glued that one down the bottom so you can put a photo in there. I used the ones that were related to sort of Mickey and Minnie. Um, you know, like the Disney castle and love with the Mickey pants there. I did die cut some Mickey heads. Um, and so I did that one for Mickey and then I did that one Minnie and then I put the red bow on there and that red bow came from Jude. Um, and then 
so say so that's the first layer so she can put her photos there I didn't decorate it up a whole lot because I wanted it to use it mainly for pictures um so then I thought right it's not let's break it up a little bit let's go like really cool so then I went into Disney villains so we've got um Ursula on the top here because um Laura it, 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 Ursula is Laura's favorite Disney villain and I've changed the color of the card as well I've gone for a deep purple on this uh, this layer so this is the the, the lid and we've got that decoration then as the um, outer part of the second box then. I couldn't couldn't find a generic one that went, so I just went for that one because I like the green with the purple. Um, so then you take this lid off and that opens up like this. So again, stay with me because I know we're all getting a little bit confused, but we're still on Disney Villains a minute. This is the third box, so it's still Disney Villains. So this layer then is created for Disney Villains. So we've got um, the Wicked Queen from uh, Snow White. We've got Maleficent and we've got Ursula and we've got Cruella. So these are like belly bands that are joined together by these. So these stay there. And then inside here, I'll only pull one out because obviously I'll just pull Cruella out, okay? Um, and then in the background of these, I've gone for like Cruella on that one. Obviously this, the Queen on that one. Um, I left some papers on the back of that one and Ursula papers on this one and on the front here as well, okay? Um, and then inside each one is a photo booklet. So I've decorated the top with like whoever I've got, so Cruella on this one. And then the reverse side of this, I've just put it there so she can like maybe use a gel pen for journaling there and that bit is the photo or is that bit is the photo and right on there or two of them is the photo and right on the back it's entirely up to her but they fit in there really really nicely and it's not too much bulk either so that's the second layer so third layer take it up a notch now and I'm on my frozen section so I've made the cardstock white obviously for snow and the third outer box is um I've got this paper with Elsa and Anna on this side and this side and then if you turn it round I've gone for the pink one with Elsa and Anna this side and this side okay and then on the lid I've got um, Anna, Elsa, Together Forever. I've popped these up because you have got a bit of space in between each layers. Um, we've got Sven, Olaf and Anna and Kristoff there. And again, I've popped these all up so they are layered up. Okay. Um, so this is my frozen layer. So this comes off and comes out because it doesn't come up because of the triangles. Okay. So again, that goes like that. All right, so then I've just, inside here, I've gone for Olaf papers. So um, this side are the same, this side is the same. And then I've gone for like that snowflake pattern then in the, um, on the triangles. And I have decorated the triangles on the outside as well with this another snowflake pattern. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a dark navy. Dark navy? Isn't navy just navy? Anyway. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's my frozen layer and again, I didn't put anything there because I wanted to use it for photos Okay, then my next layer my is my fourth layer. Yeah, my fourth layer I've gone for 101 Dalmatians. So I'm on red cardstock. Okay, I got this picture I think that dog's name is Lucky. I think I'm not entirely sure Jack is well for 101 Dalmatians. I like Cruella, like the film Cruella, but I've never been fussed on 101 Dalmatians. Um, but I think his name is Lucky, I think. The paper comes like that, so I just cut that bit out to make that my lid, okay? I didn't find that anywhere. Um, this is paper from Create and Craft. Okay, so this layer then, so I've gone for the plaid all around the lid, and then I've gone for the dog... Um, all the way around it's all the pictures of all the 101 dimensions um so then this layer comes off and that flips out like so okay again i've gone for diagonal pockets here so i've gone for the plaid on this bit and then inside the pockets is a tag behind you decorated is that some of the paper that i've used i've gone for the pinky version and then inside here is these cute little dinky tags. 
um, and I have set an eyelet in each one of them. Um, she can use these to journal, maybe pop photos in there and then journal on this or pop a little photo on here, journal on the back or whatever she wants to do, pop a little photo on the triangular pocket, it doesn't matter um, how she does it. I just wanted to give the layer something different each time. Um, so yes, yeah, so these are, this is the 101 Dalmatians style. Okay, so then we go into our fifth layer. God, I can't believe I'm 15 minutes in, sorry. Um, fifth layer, which is Mickey Mouse. Um, so I had papers, I think they were from like Pound Shop, you know, the six by six paper. Well, they're not actually true six by six papers. Um, and I think you had like the Mickey embellishments and stuff with them as well. So I found these in my stash. I didn't even know I had them. So this fifth layer here then is Mickey Mouse. So on the lid is the grey background. It's an embossed paper of the Mickey heads. This is one of the cutouts I found in my stash and it's got Mickey on there and it's all glittery um, and it's lovely. I like this layer. And then on the sides then we've got Mickey Mouse. Have I got that on all sides? Yeah, I've got that on all sides, the Mickey Mouse paper. Okay, and again, this is, this is embossed. Take that lid off there. Pop my lids up on you. And then this is another heart one. Okay, so again, I've gone for the same papers on the lids on the hearts. And then I've gone for the other embossed one, which says all different sayings like, oh boy, and Mickey, what does it say? Mickey Mouse with the feet and the pants and see you soon. And that sort of pattern there. So she can put photos wherever she wants to on that one. Then we go for the sixth layer, which is um, a princess layer. Okay, um, now this I put beauty on here, mainly meaning for the whole of the princesses, but Belle is her favorite princess, so I've tried to go with Belle. Um, so I put beauty on here, and I've gone for a hot pink cardstock, um, to completely change it up again. I had some papers from um, like the six by six collection, and they were like some, some of them were foiled, some of them were embossed, so um, I used the foiling ones on the top here for the lid. And then on the four um, sides, then I've got Rapunzel on this side. I've got Belle on this side. I don't know how well you can see this. I've got, oh, Rapunzel on that side. So I've got Rapunzel, Rapunzel on that side, and Belle and Belle on that side. And then this opens up and comes down like this. So I've used the foil papers on this side. So we've got um, Cinderella, we've got, I can't see through the camera, Aurora, we've got Snow White, and we've got Rapunzel there, okay? Um, and then these flaps, so she can put photos on these if she wants to, but they do open up, but you have to be careful because of this lid. Um, so what I would advise, Law, is if you take the lid off first and then open them, it's a lot easier. But I don't want to, like, sort of open the lid yet, so I'm going to just pull them to the side. But they open up. Just going to do the one. They open up, they got this foil pack, sorry for the glare, and then a white piece of cardstock there for the photo or journaling photo there. It's entirely up to here, but they all open up. That one opens down, that one opens to the left, and that one opens up. Okay? Um, but like I say, it might be easier a lot if you take the lid off first if you are going to fill it with photos. Okay, so that's my lid there. And then the seventh layer, I've gone for Monster Sink. Um, and I just used what was in my stash. I didn't have a lot of Disney. Um, but yeah, I just used what's in my stash. So this is the seventh layer. So for the lid, I've got the, um, orange one with, I've forgotten, it's a Mike, Mike, in it? And I've got the Monsters Inc. logo there. And then on the actual decoration for the outer box, I've got all the, like, boo in the little suit there with all, like, the monsters around. And then this one opens up into a triangular pattern again. And I've got the one where they're going through the doors there with Mickey. Mickey. Uh, Sammy and Mike. And then I've got the monsters on the side here with the triangles. And I've got the green on that triangle side there. And then I've just put another Mickey head there right in the middle. Um just to show this sort of like Disney inspired. Um, but yeah, usually what I would do is I would keep this one closed and it would be like for a little gift, but I decided to open it up and make it all layered. So this is my 
project for the lovely Laura. So yeah, it did take me a fair amount of time actually because obviously each layer was different. Um, so yeah, I but I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out and I hope you like it. Um, so yeah, so we've got, like I say, the princess layer here, we'll put it all together, the back together, together. We've got the princess layer here, we've got these, I'll just go back in here, and like I say, Laura's going to have so much fun with hers, because she can experiment and make loads of explosion boxes with hers, because I love mine. Mickey here, we've got 101 Dalmatians here. We've got the frozen layer here. Oh. And we've got the Disney villains. Yeah. And then that all closes up. Yeah. and that's all closed and like I say I am really in love with how that's turned out I really really I really want to make one for myself um I think the kids would love something like that so I might make one for the kids actually um but yeah they it was just lush I love the way it's turned out I really hope you like it like I said I'm sorry I've talked on for so long um, I just really wanted to share that because I, guess I know you've seen a lot of my explosion boxes but I just thought that was a really cool idea um, and like I say I used all my uh, Disney papers from Creating Craft and this is going to the lovely Laura um, because she's you know mad on Disney um, so yes yeah, so I thought she might like this and um, have fun with it but yeah she is getting one herself so she can practice to her heart's content then um, but yeah so these are the um, just two little projects that I've made for Laura um, I will put this video up as soon as she's received them I hope she loves them I hope you like it if you do please give me a thumbs up and a comment I'd love to know what you think um, yeah that's brilliant thank you all so much for watching and I'm sorry I waffled on so long um, I'll switch to my next video. Thanks. Bye, guys.